We're joined now by Indigo Rumbelo from Just Stop Oil. Thanks for uh, coming in. What do you think you're achieving with these um, incredibly disruptive and also dangerous protests? Hello. Um, I'm sure you'll agree we're in an incredibly grave situation with the climate crisis. So Just Stop Oil has one simple demand, and that is that the UK government put an end to licensing new oil and gas in the UK. But, but, but I'm interested to know about these tactics. What evidence do you have that blocking the busiest motorway in the UK, causing endless disruption for tens of thousands of people, is actually achieving anything? We need everybody to come to join us so we don't have to cause this type of disruption on, on the motorways. We need to be sat outside Parliament with tens and tens of thousands of people demanding an end to, to new oil and gas. Yes, but you don't need to resort to this kind of disruptive behaviour because what it seems to me what people are talking about, Indigo, are your methods and not your message. So your message is being completely lost because of the methods that you are using. Which, is in, which are infuriating people and disrupting life for mm. so many people. So the climate crisis is disrupting people around the world, around the world right now, and even here in the UK this summer, we saw the effects of the climate crisis, with the UK getting 40 degrees heat and birds falling out of the sky and pensioners dying before they should. This is just the beginning, and the climate crisis is going to get worse and worse and worse unless we but, act. But we know, and, but we, and know we know that. We cover that. that. We cover that on the news. We know all that. Yeah. I'm just talking about these tactics. The message you have, the message that you want to get across, get completely lost. I mean, your message is certainly lost on the woman who didn't get to hospital for her stroke treatment. Your message is certainly lost on the patient who didn't get to hospital for her cancer treatment. Uh, appointment and your message is also certainly lost on Tony Bambury, the man who missed his father's funeral. So uh, I guess my question is, what is the point of doing it like this? Mm. So it's very clear that the disruption will end as soon as the government issued this statement to stop new oil and gas. But we will have to continue because at the moment, I just do not know what else we're going to do. Do you have any other you know, ideas of how you know. we could get our government but it's not for me to, give to you issue ideas. a statement to end new but, oil and gas, because this isn't an issue of just no, green but... policy or just the climate protesters. It's an issue that's going to impact you, it's going to impact me, it's going to impact your children, of course if you is, have children, and we're it's impacting about... people no, around the world. The so tactics. our government's decision yeah. to go ahead with new oil and gas with the full knowledge that this will kill millions of people is a complete yes, act of betrayal talking, on my but generation. But we're talking about here, now, the tactics that you are using. I mean, listen to what Tony Banbury said. These people have forced me not to go to my father's funeral. And it's not like I get a second chance. I will never forget what they have done and I will never forgive what they have done. So my point again to you is that the way you are going about this means that people are not listening to the message they are just talking about the method and they don't like the method. It's a very serious situation. But we know that. Well, I'm talking about the tactics you are using. Listen to the police officer, Chief Constable of Essex. He says this, I think it is only a matter of time before somebody gets killed. The only way this is going to stop is, is if Just Stop Oil frankly grow up and realise that they are putting people's lives at risk. Doesn't he have a point that you need to grow up before someone gets killed? Because you're making your point, you can make your point in other ways. So the way I see it, we're completely addicted to fossil fuels. Have you ever tried to ask someone to stop smoking? Yes, look, I yeah. know. So I've asked my dad to stop no. smoking and that's because I loved him, yes? Well, yeah, and he yeah, was yeah. told that if he keeps smoking, he's going to get cancer. Yes. And what and the scientists will tell him, you know, 
is going to get cancer. But, but, but does, it's not a very pleasant process. No, one second, one no, second. Could I, 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 could I just finish? No, because here. you're asking me about the disruption. To, and I, I'm accepting the that... The disruption you're causing. Yeah, I'm accepting that it isn't pleasant and I'm accepting that we feel empathy for all of those people out there. Do but you? what we're trying to do is to get everyone to come together, to get our government to stop licensing new oil and gas in order to save life. But there are ways of doing it that can this, avoid this tens of thousands of people having their lives just completely Just weeks ago, disrupted. a third of Pakistan was underwater. The rains have failed in Somalia for the fifth year in a row, meaning mothers cannot feed their yes, children. Yes, we know that, and we covered that. We had correspondents out there. There is a COP27 conference... You may have been covering it, but the media has My failed to make political failed change. Hang on, we've got... Politics has failed us. I'm 28. This is the 27th COP conference. So, and what has happened every single year? The emissions have risen so and risen trajectory... and risen. If you were doing your job properly, everyone right. would be out on so, the street. So, so we have a But day... they're not. So and have... I really want you to understand. No, do you do know understand. how grave the situation is? I do understand. And, and do but you I'm have talking... children? I've got children. I and do, do you have... love those children? Indigo, please, I understand the point you're making. You are here today to justify the tactics. You're effectively Do you love those listen, children more than you love fossil fuels? You are fuels. committing a crime. Why should... That's what we're it. asking you to Answer do. We're this. asking you to side with young people uh, who, who are asking our government very politely, in line with the UN, saying that we okay. need to come off fossil okay. fuels okay. That's with, one point. with the knowledge that we're going okay. to go over 1.5 degrees and this will undermine the okay. rule Indigo. of law. Indigo. We're asking people... Stop shouting at me, Indigo. ..to just... Look, you are breaking the law. Your protests are law-breaking. Why should you be allowed to interfere with the rights of ordinary, law-abiding people going about their daily business? That's the question okay, I'm so let's, asking. OK, let's, so let's, let's... Me and you, we can come together, we'll put a referendum up and it'll say, would you like to destroy much of life on Earth, including everything you know and love, or... Would you like to not? Would you like your government to insulate your house, give you an affordable public transport system, tax the polluters who are making money off people who are starving and cold okay. and hungry in their homes this okay. winter? Do you want, what do you want to do? So why, it's why, destroy why you, everything why we know and love. Why are you at COP27 making this point? Why are you at COP27? That is the destroy forum Destroy everything you know and love this point. or not. There are more oil lobbyists at COP27 than there are people like you. Why aren't you there making your point? Yeah, and, and, and back to this idea. Isn't that disgusting? Why do you... Imagine that. Think about my dad you... when he was smoking. Imagine if the cancer research invited Benson and Hedgins into their, you know, into their what debate you... on what they're going to do this. about answer lung cancer. Answer me this, uh, Indigo, answer me this. What do you achieve...? It's disgusting! Well, I'm just, I haven't asked the question yet. Answer me this. What do you achieve by attacking things people hold dear? Things people hold dear, yeah, like so, works of art, yeah. like statues. Mm. What do you achieve by that, honestly? Yeah, you've asked me a very reasonable question. What do yeah. you achieve by that? So, we've been disrupting the art galleries, we've been disrupting Why? football matches, we've been disrupting the M25, and we're saying the media is not doing their job properly and they're not telling you the truth about what's coming down the line. Listen. The government are not program. acting. This is so a news we program. need people to and come we're, together, to cover the face up to the truth that, no. that we're going to pass over this threshold of 1.5 degrees of warming. We're going to plummet towards total India. destruction. India. We have we have climate Unless programs. So go on climate programs and talk and about that. Go to COP27 and talk about that. But there are people across this country who are fed up with having their lives disrupted by your people. And if you want to talk about what Just Stop Oil is, what is Just Stop Oil? Do you just stop oil, what, now? When? Oh, How soon do you want to just yeah, stop oil? That's a really good question. Because so the economy, it seems to me, and I'm sure you'll agree, is driven. Economies around the world are driven by oil. So when do you want to we, stop We will oil? agree there are more things that are important than the economy, won't we? Would you agree, then? Is, is, Could I just is, tell you because it was a good question? Is carbon by 2050 yeah. enough for you? So is, the, the, is that net zero explain, by 2050 Let me explain the demand, because I think you'll find it very, very reasonable. All we are doing, in, in order to stop the disruption, the government would have to say, we're going to stop issuing the 130 new licences for drilling in the North Sea, and we're going to say no to the pending coal mine decision. 
But you and, said and we've got you said seven it. years so of reserves. So my question some to you then say five, is why do you have to go and seven. hang off gantries above the busiest motorway in Britain? You've said it. I mean, the other thing you Let's said... Let's get I Rishi Sunak in here and say, you've thing. got rid of some Here's of Truss's thing. toxic legacy. You One said, second. You, 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 you've put it, he, put it, he put fracking away. He said, oh, what a silly idea. She's brought in this new fracking. Well, but, now he needs to say, I have an opportunity here Here's to go thing. to the COP conference and say, Britain is going to lead the way. Indigo. We're going to stop right. drilling for new Indigo. oil and you gas. You said in a newspaper the other day, in order to protect your freedom, your mm -hmm. rights and all that you love, will you stand with us? Now, it seems to me that what you're doing on these motorways and what you're doing um, to cause the police no end of problem and what you're doing in risking your lives as well as people's lives on the motorway, people are not going to come and stand with you. People, how do you expect people to come and stand with you if you are disrupting their lives to this extent? It doesn't take this to get your message across. OK, so... Um... If it wasn't for women like the suffragettes, I wouldn't have a vote. I couldn't own anything, I don't think. I, all, every right and liberty that we have, your working rights, my rights to vote as a women, woman, they have been fought for. They weren't just handed down by people, down from those with power. They were fought for. And every single one of those liberties that is at risk because of the climate crisis. Okay. Indigo, Rumbelow, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very thank you. much. Thank you.